Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew D, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 18, from the Passion Translation as well as the Amplified Translation, and it reads as follows. Evil people may get a short-term gain, but to sow seeds of righteousness will bring a true and lasting reward. And the Amplified Translation reads, The wicked man earns deceptive wages, but he who sows righteousness and lives his life with integrity will have a true reward that is both permanent and satisfying. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true that evil people get a short-term gain, that they earn deceptive wages through their deceptive ways, through the deceptive things that they do, through the ungodly things that they do. They might get gain, they might get fortune, they might get the house, the car, and all these wonderful things, family, but they've done it evil with an evil intention and deceptively, and consequently, these things can be taken away like that, family. They are short-term gains. They are only there temporarily, and oftentimes these evil people put their faith in these these things that they've got and when it gets taken away from them their lives are completely ruined and crushed and they don't know what to do and all these kinds of things because of what has happened because of what they've done as we said in yesterday's message you reap what you sow if they sow deception if they sow evil and wickedness they will reap a harvest of just the same if they sow destruction they will reap destruction family but i love the second portion of the scripture that speaks about what we as god's children can reap a harvest of if we sow the right seeds as it says there, but to sow seeds of righteousness will bring a true and lasting reward. Or the, the way the Amplified Translation says it, but he who sows righteousness and lives with integrity will get a true reward that is both everlasting and satisfying. You see, family, when we sow seeds of righteousness, when we live a life that is pleasing to the Lord family, and when we sow good seeds into the world around us, into the environment around us, into the sphere of influence that we have, we will reap a harvest of just that family. When we sow righteousness, we will reap righteousness. When we sow goodness, we will reap a harvest of good things, family. When we sow financial seeds, we will reap blessing. It just goes like that, family. It's a universal principle that the Bible speaks about of seed, time, and harvest. Irrespective of what seed you sow, whether it be good or bad, you will eventually reap a harvest of those seeds, family. So as Christians, we need to go forward sowing seeds of righteousness and living lives that are pleasing to the Lord so that we can reap a harvest, so that we can reap the harvest of these blessings and these wonderful things that isn't just going to fade away like the riches of these evil people, but it, that it will last, that it'll stay, that it'll bless us for many years to come. And as I said yesterday, as we said earlier this week as well, it'll be a blessing that won't just bless us, but it'll bless our children's children because a wise man leaves an inheritance to his children's children because a wise man, a man filled with the wisdom of God will be use the wisdom of God to sow the right seeds and consequently he'll reap a harvest of blessing that will last to two generations to come family. So I want to encourage you going forward family to do just that. Live a life of integrity, a life that is pleasing to the Lord. Sow seeds of righteousness into the environment around you. Sow seeds of God's goodness into the environment around you and as you do this family you will reap a harvest of that goodness. You will reap a harvest of wonderful things, of rewards that will be lasting and that will be satisfying family as the scripture says it. This is a promise that we can stand on in the word of God. So as we apply the principle of living with integrity and sowing seeds of righteousness, we can stand on this promise and believe that the Lord will give us that harvest, that reward that is lasting and satisfying. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for the scripture and the wonderful promises that are in your scripture, Lord. Lord, I pray for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to live a life of integrity, Lord, to sow seeds of righteousness, to sow seeds of your goodness into the world and the environment around us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we sow those seeds, Lord, they will reap a bountiful, multiplied harvest, Lord, in our lives, Lord, that we will receive the rewards that are promised in your word here, Lord, that are both lasting and satisfying lord and we give you alone all the praise the glory and the adoration in jesus mighty name we pray amen thanks for watching my video i trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you and if it did i'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message and before you leave please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment let me know what you think about the contents of the video and i'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of from heaven at seven which 
premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.